course, you know when not to give respects to Happy Feet Emperors. Pero alam din ng Happy Feet na kaya nilang lumaban sa may top lane yung Hayabusa. Nasa middle lane, kumpleto yung ultimate sila. And remember, you're fighting against Akari. It's always gonna be 3 versus 5. Kahit pa magpakita yung Akari sa team fight, medyo non-factor pa siya at this point. Non-factor, like you said. Even when they're getting the solo kills kasi, you have to take note, there's no follow-up after that one kill. Dahil medyo all-in pa ang signal Ultra Wars ngayon. Yeah. Like Yaku, di ba? Dahil hindi pa siya ganun ka-online, hindi pa siya ganun kalakas, yung kanyang ultimate will be only enough to get one kill. Oh, Arrow, it will not Sige connect. Na. Samantala sa gitna, medyo in RCD. Dito mamang hook ni Eson dito. At mukhang mamarcha na nga ang Happy Feet Emperors. Pupunta dito sa may Tore. Pero magandang defense sa malang signal Ultra Wars. Having four members to defend against oh, this push mula sa Happy Feet Emperors. Talagang alam ng alam ng signal Ultra Wars kung paano mag-defend. Ito yung pinakamahirap eh. Ito yung pinakamahirap na kailangan mo pagandahan. How do you actually push against Signal Ultra Wires? For the longest time, they've been really good at defending towers. Kahit pa ilang teamfights na yung pinapatalo nila against Happy Temperors, relax lang sila. Alam nila na yung Hayabusa nag-form lang. Darating yung point na yung uh, threat ni Hayabusa sobrang taas na hindi na pwede maiwan. Oh, Isa yung mangiris dito, pero ito si D. Eh, pero nakapaggamit siya ng hit dance to get away. Q is Aro? in the vicinity. Tumama yung pana dito. Dumi yung last action, ikaka sa nila. And this is... Questionable para sa Happy Feet Emperors. Yep, we said ultimate arrow. We said ultimate. Wala na hook doon. Actually, tinamahan si Kram, pero meron kasi siyang power of nature. Kaya hindi nga ako bonek na yun. At mukha tutulang ang Happy Feet Emperors. Ang ganda ng Guardian Spire, actually. To keep the members of Signal Ultra Wars from diving. Pero hindi pa rin makakatulak. Medyo nagkakaroon ng malupit na stand-up dito sa may gitna. Yep. Pero lamang na lamang Happy Feet Emperors dito. You might say that nag na nagsasayang sila pares ng oras. Yes, yung Hayabusa at Aljus na nakapag-farm ng mapaya. Pero, pero remember, there's a Selena on Happy Feet Emperors, na andito pa rin yung threat na kaya nilang uh, pitasin kung sino man yung tamahan ng araw and nakakapag-farm din siya mag-isa. Wow. Interestingly, ang nakikita natin yun is uh, RP with just one kill but it's okay kasi hindi ko nakapag-farm na siya ng marami. Can't know exactly kung ilang stocks na inakuha niya but the longer the game goes, Aljus ay mas lumalakas. Tingnan natin kung hindi na. Ano, no, no, on Esme ah. Uh. Oo, may tinamahan sa napahanan sa likod. Ito yung ano yung crack pero na-stun muna siya pa ako siya makaporma and that's gonna be a kill. The first down is Esmeralda with the falling star moon. Ito na ba may damage sa mga ang Happy Feet Emperors mukhang hindi pa pero mapapatay nila yung carry sa liwa dahil may Aljus ito. Napatay nila dito Esmeralda using few but few mukhang nasasaktan si Rodong 2 hits lang ng ating Aljus. That's gonna be a lot of kills going in favor of Happy Feet Emperors. 2 for 2 trade-off lang pero yung napatay kasi ng Happy Feet Emperors, it's the, it's the few Hayabusa as well as the carry. So, sulit na sulit. Oh, Arbe, tinatanong na, nilisan niya rito, Breath of Ocean, ginamit na. And kailangan niya na tumakbo. Aabot ba yung Aron ni Tan dito? Hindi na. They want the objective. They want the Lord or the turret. Kinukulit lang dito ni Desanya para hindi mag makapag-take ng Lord. It's actually effective kahit isang yep, uh, Arrow. Kasi nila man dito si Tizanya pero meron nga lang defensa kaya pa niya makapag-hundi pa. Hindi na. Of course, that's on cooldown. Then, get the kill on the Kadita. Eh, so now, Arrow! Oh, Gantang pan. Guardians fire into the bana. Pero si Yaku, lumalaban. No, 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 no. Oh, tatamaan ko na nga. Kumunek na dito kay Yaku. But Yaku still stands strong. Arpe. Another Arrow! Arrow! Hindi tumama. Ako po. Muntigan. Actually, kumamutigan pa. In comes few. Pero masyadong napilit yung kanyang ulti. And this is Signal Ultra Warriors falling one after another. Again, sa Happy Feet Emperors, this is more than bad para sa kanila. Dahil Lord na, makukuha ng Happy Feet Emperors. And it is another objective for them. I really like how they realize na wala ng teamfight aspect yung Signal Ultra Warriors once na kinumit na yung Breath of the Ocean and walang nagawa. Again, ito yung problema nila yung follow-up. Hindi pa ganun kalaking factor or threat si Yaku at this point. Hindi mo pa siya pa-problemahin. Although si MB napatay kagad, ang dami kasi kinumit na resource sa kanya. Ang daming in na skills para mapatay yung Esmeralda. And remember, yung chase potential ng Happy Temper sobrang taas. You have a Selena. So, hindi ganun kalaki problema kung matapos yung teamfight at makahabol pa kayo na isang target pa. Well, I like this a lot. Ito, 4-0-8-5 para sa ating Aljus at 7.6k. We also have to take down meron siyang Raptor Machete. So, it's one one item ahead of the carry mm -hmm. just because of the gold diba lamang siya ng almost 2,000 yeah. laban dun sa ating carry so that's already an item ahead bukod pa dyan yung Raptor Machete kasi parang, the way it works diba with Aljus para ka rin nagkakaroon ng isang bonus item dahil yeah. meron kang additional na damage every time you get jungle creep so this is way too good for, para sa Happy Feet Emperors even when the late game ay nandun sa side ng single towards the emperors ng carry yung Aljus din late game napakalaki ng abag yan nakita yep. mo naman kung gano'n siya kalakas in terms of getting the two hits 
against their opponents to hit kills. Ano, hindi ganito ka-free game yung carry natin. Kasi remember, yung chase potential ng Habib Tempera sobrang taas. Ang dami nilang ways para pasukin yung carry. You have the charge from the Aljus, the arrow from the Selina, and yung Numenon Blast pang reset ng teamfight. Hindi basta-basta pwedeng pumasok yung carry inside the clash. This is gonna be really hard. Para arrow? Sa... Tama. Yeah. Tamang disperse ng Signal Ultra Wires Pero remember, maya mag-invade ng HF Empress dito alongside the Lord They can, they really can Ibibigay ba to ng Signal Ultra Wires Mga ka charge Little hook, tumama dito Pero that's the grok, not the easiest target Numero Black Flicker! Tumama dito sa tatlo Pero wala pa siya to follow up Dahil medyo malalim nga naman Ito sa Falling Starbolt Pero sa likod, nandun lang kayo mga member Signal Ultra Wires is design niya Activate si Ultimate Ang ganda the Flicker, hook fade away Para mapatay yung Esmeralda They'll take down the turret Pero meron pa yatang jump in dito Mula doon kay Arpe It's not gonna be enough to just shut down sa Selina, few cleaning house dito sa Mayligran, si Arpe nalang mag-isa dito lang ako po, mapapatay pa niya yung carry pero yung kapalit, siya, five man of wipe, sick the ultra wires will lose their turret, will lose their carry but they still defend and they still take down five and ito na yung ito na yung signal ultra wires factor makaisang team fight lang tayo but team wipe lang, re-rect na sila ng objective this is their strongest point Kapag nanalo silang teamfight, they always translate that into objective. So happy with the Emperors. Yes, you have gotten the turret on the top lane. Pero kabahan na kayo. Nasa oh, harap oh, na ng bigs nyo yung Signal Ultra. And they even activate yung Courage Mask nila dito. Happy with the Emperors will lose that turret. Amazingly done mula sa Signal Ultra Wire. Sabay, pick up pa dito ng Double Oracle para may pangotra sila sa Esmeralda. And Signal Ultra Warriors, you can really never count them out. Sige, sabi mong bigay mo yung lead sa kalaban. Pero hindi. The comeback kicks. Hindi naman sila tatawagin comeback kicks for nothing. Exactly. Ang ganda sana nung initiate ng Happy Fifth Emperor sa may top lane, hindi lang na-timing, na-time yung charge na maayos from the Algeus. Kasi ang hinihintay nila doon is pag napatay ni Turret, doon napapasok yung charge ni Algeus. And this from my team fight, tatanan yung Esmeralda. Unfortunately, ang ganda ng pasok ni D. Talagang hiniwalay niya, in-isolate na, naiwan yung Esmeralda nung pumasok siya with Falling Star Moon. And Eason, sabi niya, sige, sacrifice mo yung Akai, ihuhook ko pabalik yung Esmeralda and that was the start ng uh, pagbagsak ng Happy Feet Emperors yeah, who tried to run away pero syempre makakatakas dito you have to take note Kuya Midnight talagang kapitbahay ko itong mga to <laughs> naka-execute yung uh, hayabusa natin <laughs> Execute time, execute wins games, guys. Tama naman, Fake tama performance. naman. performance. Eh, tama naman. Pagkatapos ng, ano, <laughs> ng shadow kill, pwede mong i-execute. Remember, oh. HP-based yung execute. Pero this is interesting, ha? si MB on the Esmeralda, he picked up a uh, genius wand. Over-concentrated oh. energy. And uh, kung ano bang item gusto niya. Uh, they, they want to burst down he, uh, heroes as, as soon as possible. Oh. There you go. So, ah, meron siyang Athena Shield. Uh, meron siyang Athena Shield. Actually, yaman niya. Overall. I would have preferred Oracle, to be honest, for additional shield uh, absorption. Well, Lord, the thing is, you still want to use shield for your yeah, own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, especially if you, pag yung, ano, mapa burst down kasi may potentially. Like, for example, meron mga malalakas sa burst, like the Sanya and Few, meron silang burst against yep. the Esmeralda. So, I guess, yung accumulation of shield with Athena might work. But, all in all, take note pa rin, Capitolio Boy is doing it good. <laughs> Execute with games. Yep. Execute with games. Kaya ito kami sa Capitolio. Talagang kahit sinong hero yung i-execute. Palmond execute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kaya ito nag-aabang na si Mr. V. I really like this play mula sa kanya. Aabangan niya lang pakita yung signal ultra wires. Mamatay man siya. May immortality siya dito. May immortality siya, diba? Meron, meron, meron. Does have the immortality. Like I said. Mga mag-lolor dito. Happy Feet Emperors. Pero nandito si D. Minamatahan mga members pero din sa kanan. Mito yun sila si Mr. V. Trying to look for the good angle. Hayabusa running away into safety. Pero walang mangyayari around this Lord area. This truncheon on the city. A truncheon. Nakatruncheon na rin siya. Winter. Yep. So, during the Breath of the Ocean ni Kadita, kung tamaan man siya, wala siyang pakilam doon. And at some point, hindi ang hirap na patay ni Selene. Kasi meron na siyang, number one, meron na siyang invulnerability. And sobrang mobile pa niya. Yeah. Ooh, this is starting to be the late game na alam natin na sighted sa Signal Ultra Warriors pero may meron pa rin na Happy Feet Emperors courtesy of their Aljus. Esmeralda, late game din ay hindi mo pwedeng uh, take for granted. I think that Esmer Esmeralda, as long as hindi siya yung unang mapapatay, yeah. in a sustained team fight, he can really he shot so much damage. Kaya kailangan niya dito ang bantayan is Dakari for sure because Dakari will melt her down. Nonetheless, kahit pa sabi mo meron siyang unlimited shields dyan, ako hindi niya kaya patayin ang isang carry. And yung uh, Esmeralda League Game Factor, sinasabi natin kartable siya. 
is kapag may mga heroes na ang gusto sustain battle. For Signal Ultra Wars kasi hindi sila sustain dito eh. Gusto nila pag nakuha nila yung team fight, may nahook sila, makakapatay sila isa, then all in. Kailangan matapos siya akin yung clash. Kasi nakita natin kanina, di ba, kahit nanalo na yung Signal Ultra Wars sa first clash, yung re-engage yung Happy Feet Emperor sobrang taas. You have a Selina na talagang maghahabol at maghahabol hanggat may nakikita siyang hero. Okay, ito na. Ang close ng ating laban, of course, Signal Ultra Warriors. Arrow. First, oh, look at the damage. Eson, but does have the flicker. Gets away. Falling star mo na pwersa na nga dito. Pero nastal mo na si T. Numino Blast. Kinasarap na patay na. Esperado dito. Ang kentang Numino Blast. But it's not gonna be enough. They will take down Eson. Yaku, medyo in trouble. A hurricane does not save him. Two down already. Inside the signal through wires. Sinapon na si T. Ito na si Pew. Pero mukhang matay mo na si T. Tumalun mo lang. Ang kentang nakakap naman nun. Ang kentang nakakap naman nun. Actually, coming out from the Sanya. Saving this team fight for the team. If it weren't for that three-man stun mo na doon sa Adita, ubos na yata sila doon. And it's not even that. Happy Feet Embers, they knew na kaya nilang labanan yung Signal Ultra Wars at that point. Kasi nung nag-charge yung Aegis, nakita niya ang layo ni Hayabusa, ang layo ni Pew. And sabi ni Nia Esmeralda rito, sige, okay lang, magpapang matay na ako. Pero ito, hindi pa tapos yung laban. Lalaban pa yung Signal Ultra Wars dito. Lalaban niya sa lang dito. Hindi pa tapos yung Blast. Kinasa lang for the second time. Lalaban si Sanya dito. Ang distraction. Pumubuhay ka ba? Mukhang hindi. That's gonna be a kill. Wala kay Aljus. And they will take down the Kadita. Few in here still. Wala. Meron pa rin siyang ultimate. By the way, Ding with a lockdown. It's gonna be the ultimate. Wala kay Aegusa. Pero kulang ng damage. It will be enough. However, for the Aljus. Ito lang mong takay. Buhay na buhay pa. Pero yung Aljus. Patay na. They wanna go for Mr. V. Meron pa siyang immortality. So he will die for the first time. The Grokbak will not save anyone. As they suppress down the Lolita. Si Pew. Yung isa na yung target dito. Isa pa kung wala ang takas. Mr. V. Oh, shields. Hindi. Hindi effective yung bullwreck dyan. Will just back down. Wala siya pa alam dun sa grok. It took them so much time. But at least they still defend the Lord. Signal Ultra Warriors. Sabi nila, ako ang baala. Pew. And this Anya. Pew. Making it big para sa Signal Ultra Warriors. Pew talaga, Kuya Wolf. Ito na yung sinasabi natin kanina, player factor. Ang daming beses na yung shadow kill. Oh no! Mapapatay pa! Si Esmeralda rito. And mahuhuli pa si MB. Wala na nga ang shield. Mapapatay siya rito. Pero namatay din naman yung Akai. Pero si Pew, nice touch! Wala ka yung grabe naman. I don't know mga kids. Ito na si Krab. Mas dito, but the Haibusa will take down Nyaku. Will try to get the kill and will do so. Arbe? Arbe? Just is still here. Arbe, ito na nga. Meron na siyang stun. E, three, two. Hindi na yata abot. Hindi abot, hindi abot. Si Yaku maabot siya. Hindi. Meron pa itong step. Lord pa rin, Sam. Ay, buhay. With all of the... All of the things that's happening around the Lord area. Sabi ni Lord, malis kayo dito Wednesday pa lang. Ang kukulit niyong mga bata kayo. Wednesday pa lang. Ang tanan niyo ako. Gusto magpahinga. Pero, eto ako yung wolf. Pew and Desanya. Eto yung sinasabi natin kanina. The reason why Pew is a very stable player on the side of Signal Ultra Wise. Even though, ang laki ng mistake niya na nahuli siya kanina doon na nakapag-teamfight na yung Happy with Empress and ang layo niya. Sabi niya, ako bahala kay Arbe. Papatayin ko siya. Makakasupak sana si Arbe dito. Mga ka-lifesteal sana. Pero tinimingan niya na maayos si Shadow Kill alongside the dance from D. And this is again Signal Ultra Wise. Ganito lang talaga sila kagaling mag-ML. Ganun lang talaga yung understanding nila doon sa ML. Like, they can still get the kills. Pew, abisado yung kahibusa. You have to take note, si Yaku yung lagi na kahibusa. Pero sabi ni Pew, kaya ko rin yan. Ano ba? Tol, ako naman. Si CD sa niya, Kuya Wool. Ang laking problema ni Tan kanina, patong si Lina na to sobrang taas ng damage niya. Sabi niya, sige, mga kaibigan, ako bahala kay si Lina. Patayin niyo yung mga kapit niya. Wala akong pakilang kahit mamatay ako, basta walang araw. Kasi tinatanggal mo yung sustain battle ng Happy Feet Emperors. Again, ang gusto ng Happy Feet Emperors dito is yung sobrang tagal ng teamfight. Kasi nga meron sila si Lina. Once you eliminate that, lalaban at lalaban sila di Sanya. Oh, oh no! Yaku actually getting hit. Pero mukhang bait yata yun. Bait lang yata. No, Bill Blast, walang tatamaan dito except from D. Isang tanke na walang pakialam. Wow, that was scary. A little bit scary para sa Signal Ultra Warriors. A few actually fighting one member. Ito na naman si Lord. Kinukulit na naman nila. Kinukulit nga na naman nila dito. Tamang ikot lang. They don't have the Numinon Blast anymore. Hindi sila tatamaan ng stun. Twilight Armor para kay Eson dito which is great against the Aljus. We'll try to jump in. The haunting stun lang gamit yung kanyang blender into the thousand pounder. Mr. V jumping in para kay Desanya. We will go for D this time pero napakakulat ng ating Akai. Eson, medyo magtitake ng damage. Medyo masasaktan nga naman ang ganda ng guard. Yung black tayo pero ikaw yata nakita! Nag-ultimate na nga dito but it's not gonna be with the hurricane. That's also committed. The Grok goes down first and Yako free it kay MB. MB goes down. Kaya kay Shields. They jump in forward. They will take down the carry. Eson is low. Sinabak na ka ni Aljus dito. Selena gets the last hit. Desanya makakataos dito pero si D nasasaktan. 
Grabe na yung suta ni Arvin dito. Hindi na pa po yung atay. Nandito si Fiu Pui, Fiu Taka, pero okay lang. Dahil nakuha siya ng execution doon. And Fiu, activating the ultimate, will get another naka mula. Ito si Sanya. Pwede ba? Pwede ba? They will take down the one for the first time. Arvin? It's important para sa Arvin. Nako po. Kumakati na nga. Fiu nakatakas pa. Will not pop the immortality. Oh, Disanya. Disanya still wants to fight for Mr. V. But Mr. V, kahit pa very low health to. Magkakara siya ulit dito. And there is the Aljus with the ultimate going for Disanya. Meron pa siya trunch. Oh, nice trunch. Disanya. Meron pa stun. Meron pa ang trunch dito. Pero hindi na. Hindi na. Hindi na kinaya. That's Arbe. 21 minutes. I don't know kung gaano karaming stacks na yung nakuha niya. Pero napakalakas ang kanyang damage. Grabe, mas malakas na siya, na siya sumuntok kay Pacquiao, Kuya Wolf. <laughs> And grabe din yung pinapakita ng Signal Ultra Wise dito. It's very close. I was actually curious kung paano na-cancel yung unang charge nung Numenon Blast kasi hindi na ikasa. And I believe that's either di Sanya or si Eason. Pero you understand na Signal Ultra Wires, they're doing everything that they can. They're pulling out all the mechanical skills that they have para lang madelay yung game. Pero ang problema nila ngayon, habang tumatakal yung laro, remember, hindi to free carry game. May isang hero sa kabila sa half of the tempers na walang pakailang pag umabot ng 50 minutes. May mawawan din siya mamaya. We have to take down may twilight armor din si Gary. On top of the fact na meron siyang wind of nature. So at least meron siya nung dalawang items na kayang kumontra dun sa Aljus given na tama yung timing. There's still a lot of work around however mula sa Aljus. Kasi pwede niyang i-wait out yung timing pero yung Lord na nga Pakil ang beses na to. Level 1 wolf lang. Ay, level 1 wolf lang. Ay, level 2. Level 2. Or the eye with the ultimate. Pero medyo makuna. Tumiro na lang. Tumiro na lang. Patay na yung katita agad dito. Of course, with the damage from Arpe. And they will take down the Akai. No, they will not be able to do so. Arpe jumping in forward. May ultimate na siya ginamit. No, but the suppression is ready. Yako. Oh! One hit! One punch! And they will go for Esson this time. Maabulit nila to the ends of the earth. And they'll take down three members of Signal Ultra Warriors. Nag-recall sila. Nag-recall sila. Oh, recall Fiu. Napa-ultimate dito, but the truncheon is ready. Fiu, nakaabang na rin. Wants to go for the kill onto Tan. Tan gets away. May magandang stun. Tumama dito sa dalawa. Pero si Fiu, nako po, unlakas na masyado na tayo. Oh, muntik na. Hindi tumama yung numinong blast. They will take down the ground for the first time. And Fiu, when they go for more, yung ating Aljus, hindi pa rin tumamunta sa laban. They will sacrifice their Grok. Jumping in, Esmeralda, hindi tatama. Fiu, nako po, kinasa na nga dito. Yung ultimate dito ni Aljus, this chase wave, pero kinansin ni Arbe. Because Fiu, respects that so much nag-prepare siya na kanyang uh, quad shadow doon finally happy with Empress they realize na kailangan lang nila i-bait out yung uh, kadita para mapatay si uh, si Tisanya rito kasi ginawa nila kanina they baited out ng Numinon Blast ang ganda ng setup ng Numinon Blast eh pero trabaho kasi ni Tisanya oh tingnan si D si D still gets Esmeralda Esmeralda pa rin nakakuha noon at mapapatay dito yung Akai As much as they try to defend the Lord hindi ko alam buwang I don't know 6 minutes na Ever since the first time nila kaya-attempt, yung level 2 Lord. Kanina pa nakakapanood ng bakbaka ni Lord. Grabe. Pero again, you get the idea, yung Happy Fit Emperors, yung Numinon Dust, ginagawa nilang bait kay Disanya kasi trabaho niyang cancelin yun. Ginamit yung Ocean Arity kanina. Unfortunately, he was caught out. Nahuli siya ng Happy Fit Emperors. Wala siya sa pwesto. Hindi siya nakapag-breath of the ocean. And once na matanggal mo yung Kadita, pwedeng-pwede ka na mag-dive kasi wala nang reset yung Signal Ultra Warriors. Yeah. And si Yako kanina nasuntok na one hit ni Arbe. I think naka-cool down yung Twilight Armor nun. Yeah. That was... Okay, may cool down kasi yung Twilight Armor. Hindi naman pwedeng no, landi na lang. Hindi pwedeng 900 lang talaga damage yung tatanggapin mo. Masyado madaya yun. Oh, oh Arrow! Oh, si Disanya talaga. I, I, I like this a lot kasi i-delay nila yung pag-advance tong Lord. At least yeah. mas ready sila. And also, yung kit na kay Sancto rin na uh, abot dito. Lang. They will try to go for the Lord. But because of the carry, they'll be able to take down the Lord as easy. Pati yung inhibitor sa gitna, hindi nila kakayanin view. Dancing against the opponents. May nahuli dito. Ang ganda hook naman nun. At syempre, may lock down sila. Meron silang damage. Let's bring out the ghost. Kung basta, tumaba sa liman. Ako po, Akai will go down. But cram. Oh, oh, another arrow. Exchange, another arrow connecting. But it's not gonna be enough view. Arby! 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 And gets another one! And now the takedown on the Kadita! Few and Esu na lang nagde-defensa! Pero dito, of course, the Aljus has second damage! And Abby V. Demros takes game one! Signal Ultra Warriors! Ang alam nila, kaya nila mag-defensa for the longest time.